Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here we go again another comparison between Google Assistant and Siri on iOS 17 but this time it's more exciting than before and that's for three reasons. First, now you can trigger Siri without saying the word hey which is great but Google Assistant also has its own magic word tricks that we're gonna compare it to. Secondly, Siri can now read articles in Safari same as Google Assistant, but which one is better? Finally, you can give Siri back-to-back -back commands which is also available on Google Assistant for years. So would you expect Siri to win in any of these three challenges or Google Assistant will remain the king? So let's have some fun. Let's start with the magic word comparison. Now you can trigger Siri without saying hey and it's something optional that you can activate under settings. So let's give it a try. What's the weather? It's currently clear and 35 degrees. And I found that it understands if you say the word because you are just talking or you mean to trigger the assistant. So here is an example. Siri on iOS 17 comes with a lot of improvements. As you saw, the sentence didn't trigger the assistant. So that gives a point only to Siri as Google Assistant lacks this feature. In contrast, Google Assistant has the quick phrases that can let you drop the magic word entirely in certain actions like stopping or snoozing your alarms and timers, silence decline or answer phone calls, and here's a quick demo. Stop. And that also gives a point only to Google Assistant. Now the results are even, but that was the easy part of the comparison, so let's take it to the next level, which is reading articles. Here I have the same web page open on both. In Safari, you can tap the double A button and then tap on listen to page. This feature uses Siri to read the article. I couldn't trigger this feature using a voice command and here's what happens when I do so. Mm -hmm. Listen to page. Mm -hmm. Read this. There's nothing to read. Uh -huh. Read this web page. There's nothing to read. So I will trigger it manually and let's take a listen. Apple releases first public betas of iOS 17 and iPadOS 17. Apple today seeded the first betas of iOS 17 and iPadOS 17 to public beta testers, opening up the new software to the general public for the first time since the Worldwide Developers Conference in June. Overall, it sounds much better than the speak screen accessibility feature that people used as an alternative before iOS 17. Secondly, it knows what to read and what not to read but speak screen reads everything on the page which is not required in this case. So I think this is a very nice improvement to Siri and that will make it much easier for you to keep up with the news and I've been using this feature on Google Assistant for years and it saves me a lot of time. Now let's take a look at what Google Assistant will do in the same test. Read this article. Okay. From Mac Rumors. Apple releases first public betas of iOS 17 and iPad OS 17. By Julie Clover. Apple today seeded the first betas of iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 to public beta testers, opening up the new software to the general public for the first time since the Worldwide Developers Conference in June. First, Google Assistant mentioned the website and the author names, which wasn't the case with Siri. Number two, it highlights the text and scroll the web page automatically, which is another advantage. Number three, you can adjust the playback speed, which is a nice touch. And what's more exciting is the ability to listen to any article in 59 different languages, which is insanely useful. Los probadores beta públicos que se hayan registrado en el pro in contrast, the iOS version seems to be working only in English for now and it doesn't offer any translations. So it's a big win for Google Assistant, but I'm glad that Siri has the feature now. Test number three is the back-to-back -back commands, and here I will test two things unrelated back-to-back -back commands, and then I will try chain questions that dig deeper in a specific topic to see if Siri will understand the context. Let's start with the unrelated ones. Add 35 to 79. The answer is 114. Subtract 10. It's 104. Add milk to my shopping list. Okay, I added milk to the shopping list. Take a note. What do you want it to say? This is a test. Okay. I've created your note. It's called this is a test. Turn off all lights. Convert $100 to AED. 367 dirhams and 26 fulis. Convert 179 centimeters to inches. It's 70.47 inches. What's the weather? It's currently clear and 34 degrees. 
Remind me to call my friend tomorrow morning. Okay. I added call my friend for tomorrow 7 a.m. Tell me a joke. Why did Hermione end up with Ron? He was a keeper. Start the stopwatch. In the last command, Siri opened the clock app without starting the stopwatch and it disappeared entirely, so it takes 9 out of 10. And now let's try Google Assistant. Add 35 to 79. The answer is 114. Subtract 10. The answer is 104. Add milk to my shopping list. Got it. I added milk. Take a note. All right. What do you want it to say? This is a test. Saved your note. Turn off all lights. Okay. Turning off four lights. Convert $100 to AED. $100 equals 367 United Arab Emirates dirhams and 31 fils. Convert 179 centimeters to inches. 179 centimeters is equivalent to 70.472 inches. What's the weather? It's 37 and clear. Tonight, the forecast is around 36 degrees and clear. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 48. Remind me to call my friend tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll remind you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Tell me a joke. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? Because it's pointless. Start the stopwatch. Let's go. Google Assistant was able to finish all the commands successfully, but Siri was almost the same. So it seems like it's getting smarter with iOS 17. Now let's try multiple commands in one sentence. Turn off all lights and set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Sure, turning off four lights. Sure, five minutes. And that's starting now. Only Google Assistant was able to action the two commands while Siri chose to only set a timer, so Google Assistant takes the point. Now let's move on to the chain questions. What's the weather? It's currently clear and 35 degrees. What about tomorrow? The forecast is calling for thunderstorms tomorrow. What about the weekend? This weekend, the weather will start out with thunderstorms, then clear skies. Show me the actors of Godfather movie. The Godfather features Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, James Caan, and others. Who's the director? The Godfather was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. What's the year of production? What's the year of production? Okay, I found this on the web for what's the Godfather of production. Check it out. How far is it from Dubai to Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi is about 132 kilometers from Dubai by car. What about Ajman? Sorry, I don't understand. How tall is Burj Khalifa? The Burj Khalifa is 830 meters tall. Where is it located? The answer I found is United Arab Emirates. How much is the admission ticket? Okay, I found this on the web for how much is the admission ticket. Check it out. Take me there. I found this on the web. What's the weather? It's 37 and clear. What about tomorrow? It'll be sunny with a high of 42 and a low of 34. What about the weekend? Tomorrow through Sunday in Ajman, it'll be sunny with highs around 42 and lows around 33. Show me the actors of Godfather movie. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Cast. Marlon Brando as Vito Corleone, crime boss and patriarch of the Corleone family. Al Pacino as Michael Corleone, Vito's youngest son. Who's the director? The Godfather was directed by Francis Ford Coppola. What's the year of production? 1972. How far is it from Dubai to Abu Dhabi? It is 146 kilometers to get to Abu Dhabi from Dubai local movers, by car. What about Ajman? 223 C Street is 44.3 kilometers away from Ajman by car. How long does it take by bus? If you leave at 3.40 a.m., it will take you 1 hour and 35 minutes to get there by bus. How tall is Burj Khalifa? The Burj Khalifa is 828 meters tall. Where is it located? The address for Burj Khalifa is 1 Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Boulevard, downtown Dubai, Dubai. How much is the admission ticket? Here is information from Thomas Cook. Take me there. Okay, Burj Khalifa. Siri answered the first question perfectly, made it halfway through in the second and last one, but failed entirely in the third. 
while Google Assistant answered all of them perfectly. So now I'm done with all the questions and that was my comparison between Siri on iOS 17 and Google Assistant. It's still behind but the gap is much smaller than before and I'm excited to see if the stable version will do any better. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you liked the video and if you do, please hit the subscribe button for more iOS 17 comparisons and see you the next one.